Guys, you're watching Sergio's Secret. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe button. I post on contemporary and designer fashion. So if that interests you, go ahead and subscribe. And I've also been posting a lot of TikTok videos, a little bit more random things. So if you do want to see that, I'll leave the link down below. And all the handbags I'm talking about will be linked down below as well. And then also the top that I'm wearing is from Totem. I showed it in one of my recent haul videos. Really pretty brown detail. Um, and it has kind of like this, the colors are very similar. You cannot really Really see a lot so I like that it has kind of like that stripe detail because it kind of like elongates me a little bit more and it's still very very discreet on the stripes and so without further ado let's get started so today's video is going to be the hottest contemporary bags of the spring and the summer season I am so excited that now we're gonna be in March and now shopping for shorts for sandals for fun bags I'm just so excited so come along and let me show you some of my favorite handbags that I think are gonna be popular and they're gonna give Give you the whole gay fantasy the whole vibe for the spring and the summer amiga so let's go ahead and get started the first one is a brand that i have never talked about but it is a brand that i will soon have in my collection if you know what i'm talking about and it is a brand called pinko pinko is an italian brand from what i'm understanding irena shack i think was recently featured in one of the latest campaigns a lot of you guys have been telling me about pinko to check them out to look at their bags pinko it will soon be on my radar very very soon and the particular bag that I'm talking about is going to be the Pinko. And let me say, let me know if I'm saying it right. Is it Pinko, Penko? I don't really know. Pecko. <laughs> so if I am mispronouncing it, please let me know down below. It is the Love Leather Shoulder Bag. And I love this bag. I love the details on it. You guys know my kind of mission in 2022 is to branch out and try more brands and some of the typical brands that you'll see on this list i also want to brighten my collection brighten you know bring new brands to your knowledge guys you guys saw me bring already new brands to the channel and i feel like um you guys really really like that and it kind of gives you a perspective on different brands that are out there than some of your typical ones and pinko is a brand that i don't really see a, even worn here in texas i'm editing this video at a starbucks i forgot that they are sold at bloomingdale's but there's no Bloomingdale's in the entire South, you know, region. So I didn't know it was carried at Bloomingdale's till so I'm editing this video, FYI. I have yet to see a Pinko bag in person and all the videos and all the reviews on Pinko bags on YouTube. And it just made me kind of like fall in love with the bag. Um, it is so pretty. Like it really, really, really cannot wait to try this bag. And you know, I'll soon have this bag in my collection. And I'm very, very excited to show you this bag because I find that this is going to be my option for the great alternative if you want that flap style bag. And I've been seeing them wear more in the European girls. I've seen the European girls and gays kind of rock this bag a little bit more. And not here in the States, but who knows? Some of you guys may end up purchasing this bag after I review the bag. So the first bag that I think is going to be hot that I've been already seeing a lot of the European girls wear is going to be the pinko love leather shoulder bag i cannot wait to give the european vibe here in houston so um, that's going to be the first bag the second bag which is a bag that i actually own and it is right here and not only do we have one two brendan blackwood bags on this list and this is the first year that i've actually featured brendan blackwood um, on any of these lists, I believe so. I could be wrong. I have over 400 videos on my channel. And the first one is gonna be the SYL shoulder bag. And for the most part, most of these bags come in right under that $200 price point. I have this one right here. This one is in this beautiful Chick-fil-A vibe. If you guys know anything about me, Chick-fil-A was my first job. So when I saw this, black and white, I love to wear black and white. I like Chick-fil-A. I don't love Chick-fil-A, but I like now. I was like, you know what? I want to give the Moo Moo vibe. I want to give the cow vibe. Why not be from one of my favorite new designer handbag brands? Brandon Blackwood. Um, he is a designer from New York and his collection and his items have been doing really well through department stores. He's now carried in sacks. He's carried in Bloomingdale's, I believe now, and I know for sure Nordstrom. So I'm so excited that um, his bags, his bags, I've seen them talked about for the last kind of year, year and a half, but now, now it's kind of, I've been seeing a lot more popularity around them. So you'll be seeing a lot of his bags out and about, especially here in Houston. I've been seeing Mr. Blackwood bags all over the little Houston scenes, all over the little hot spots. He's definitely making his rounds and collecting each one of our coins because, you know, once one girl has a bag, all the girls want the same bag. Well, like a similar variation. So the SYL bag is going to be a baguette style. Uh, for the most part, all the SYL bags um, come 
around the $200 price point. So it's going to be a lot a, a great price point friendly. Some of these bags, uh, for the most part, most of these bags are under the $500 price point. This is one of the lower price point ones, but just because it's one of the lower price point ones doesn't mean um, it's not great quality because it is. It has this beautiful pony hair. It has this leather cream interior kit and a little zipper inside of here. And I cannot wait to see more people bring their brand new Blackwood bags. And I'm going to be wearing this one um, for the spring and summer. I feel like kind of like this Moo vibe, Moo Moo kind of vibe gives me kind of like that spring fantasy. So um, the black... <laughs> The Brandon Blackwood SYL bag, definitely a hot bag for the season. Um, another one, which is probably his most popular style when a lot of people think of him, they think of this bag, and it's gonna be the Brandon Blackwood Kendrick trunk. And I, he does this in many variations, Sherpa, leathers, exotics, so many different uh, ways. And one thing I like about his brand is that all the bags come in boxes and dust bags, which you don't really see in a lot of the contemporary brands unless you buy them directly from the website but even when he, even when they're shipped from vendors like a Saks or a Nordstrom you do also get the box so the Kendrick no explanation if you guys haven't seen this bag you've been living under a rock Brandon Blackwood has been hot has been popping has been fire so this trunk gives you the whole fantasy it gives you like like going to the train like vintagey vibes we all love a little trunk moment you like kind of open it like that like you just kind of live the fantasy you can wear it as a crossbody shorter because it does have another strap but you still carrying it as a little gate top handle moment so, so the Brandon Blackwood trunk is definitely going to be another one on the radar and I wish nothing but Brandon Blackwood more uh, I wish nothing but Brandon Blackwood more success in the handbag community and I've been seeing a lot more handbag enthusiasts on YouTube talk more about him which I'm very very excited about um, the next brand is going to be Toy Birch and I have two Toy Birch options this cannot be a video without Mrs. Birch on this list and the first one that I'm talking about Chevron small flap shoulder bag and this is gonna be part of the Kira collection so she brought this bag out in the fall of last year in a couple of colors I believe in shell pink and the ivory color and the black color and I believe maybe like another seasonal color this season this is the colorways and the styles that came into it I did try this handbag on on, on the in the Trey Birch boot. So this one is the new Kira. Um, this one is the Kira Chevron Small shoulder bag. This is four fifty eight. Because it kind of gives you that play on that baguette style of a handbag. So if you do want kind of like that Fendi baguette look, if you want just a baguette style bag. I feel like this is a great alternative. I love the Kira collection because the Kira collection is very nice and soft leather. I actually have a Kira bag, I get a Kira vanity bag, but it's like the leather is like nice, it's soft, it's like very luxurious. But Kira also holds, has a little bit of structure, not a whole lot of structure, but it does have a little bit of structure towards it and for me i've been always been a big fan of the kira collection in general since it got introduced about maybe two two and a half years ago and i love this baguette style i think you're going to be seeing baguette styles in general be popular see it with this syl bag from brandon blackwood you see it again um with the kira uh, bag so be prepared to see more of those styles um introduced into my channel and a lot more brands bring type of baguette styles you know colorways because people uh, kind of want something a little bit different a little bit out there especially you know wherever you live you've been kind of maybe stuck at home a little bit more for me no i've been a city girl grew up i was like absolutely not i'm not staying at home some of you guys that were you got into the stores you're gonna be seeing a lot more fun handbags be introduced within all brands and then my second category for toy birch is going to be the ella canvas totes versions of it this season and i'll enter them right here and the reason why i wanted to introduce them is because i think canvas handbags are very in and both of these are right under the 500 price so i actually have this one this one's last year's version um i believe she may bring this back i'm not sure this is the quadrant tote and it has the beautiful t right here you can open it up it has a beautiful pocket it has all these little four uh, canvas details in the front and the back and it has leather in the bottom the reason why i love the ella totes um, especially these styles the leather is that first of all they have a little bit more structure than the classic ella totes the classic Ella totes in nylon to nylon don't have a whole lot of structure. This one has a leather bottom on it and a lot of the leather styles do hold up a little bit better and they're gonna look a little bit nicer over time. So best of leave, you're gonna be seeing me wear them with my beautiful Miller sandals just like I did last year. And I think that the Ella totes, if you do want kind of like that canvasy to everyday bag, a travel bag, a beach bag, a picnic bag, whatever you need it for, um, I think that the Ella ones are gonna be a great one and it's a really great size. You can fit so much, you can fit way more 
more than the laptop in the essentials. You can fit your entire life in it. So the Ella Camus totes, I'm definitely going to recommend. One is a Michael Kors option, and it's going to be the Michael Kors Greenwich Medium Soffiano. And what I like about I like about this one is that this one has multiple wears on it. First of all, it has a first of all it has a beautiful top handle. I'm being I'm doing best handbag trends for 2022, and you're gonna see me talk about how a lot of people want a lot of versatility within their handbags with different straps that you can take in or out. Brands introducing straps you can buy or put your own straps or just so much versatility more than just wear the handbag one way. So for example, like this, wear it with the top handle. I can wear it with the chain and some of the other bags that have so many more varieties to kind of suit your lifestyle and make the handbag what you. Want. Want it to do and make it functional for your life so the green wick what i like is that it has a beautiful top handle Mwah. we love a top handle moment but it also has a strap so you can wear it as a crossbody shoulder bag um the size of this one is not too big it's not too small this is a little bit more of the perfect everyday bag if you don't want it if you want to carry a little bit more than the essentials this one comes in at 390 Sofiano leather so it's going to be coated it's going to be super durable this is a bag that i can see especially if you get it in the brown or in the black that you can definitely wear definitely you can transition into the fall into the winter I think this is a great investment bag for the rest of the year because this is a bag that you can see and a lot of these for the most part you can uh, transition them to the fall and the winter most of them not all of them but the green witch by michael kors is definitely one that you can and there's many styles of this one they also have a baguette style in it but i'm going to recommend the medium size just for my girls that want that kind of like a fit a little bit more than the daily essentials in their bag next bag that i'm going to be talking about is going to be no other than the mark jacobs the tote bag in my stand right here so i have one two three of the tote bags so if you know mr secrets mr sergio is obsessed with the mark jacobs tote bags we're gonna put the seasonal ones away because those are more fall and winter um this is gonna be my tote bag for the spring and the summer this denim patchwork one i believe it's still on farfetch so if you do want to get this one i know this one sold out like on nordstrom and bloomingdale's but if you do want to catch i believe it's still available but just in general, the Marc Jacobs tote bags have all been popular the moment they dropped out. And so they keep coming them in so many fun variations, so many fun styles. They have leather, they have linens, they have, you know, kind of like these plasticky kind of sheer materials. They just have them in so many variations and they come in so many different sizes. So they have it in this size, they have it in the next size up. They have a larger one that doesn't have a strap. So they come in so many different fun styles and they start at 175 So this is really a great under $200 price point if you want to get the mini size even though it is a mini you can fit quite a lot in it it's quite actually spacious you can put your entire life in here and it comes with a strap on it as you can see i'm not a big strap person i prefer to carry my handbags more top handle um, but best to believe i have some denim patchwork denim that will look perfect with this um, i love it that i can either wear it like this i can't wear it like that kind of give it different looks and i'm a big fan of denim bags i'm happy that i have this but jacob's tote bag even though i keep talking about it every season i feel like every season the tote bags kept getting better and better and better my favorite one from last season was definitely this one i know if you were on tiktok you definitely saw an ad for this one this one was one of my top favorite ones um hopefully they bring it out next year but this one is still available if you are interested in it it has this beautiful fur material it has this patent leather i was here for it unfortunately now that we're in march this is a bag that's about to go into the closet. Now I'm gonna bring more, more of my spring and summer gay fantasy alive. But this one's definitely one that I love a lot. But the Marc Jacobs tote bags, if you still are thinking about it, if you still want it, I'd say go for it, go for it, go for it. Um, canvas is a little bit hard to clean if you do get a spot on it, but the leather ones are buttery soft. They have structure, but it's not super, super structured, so it, it'll give out a little bit, it'll be long. But the smaller that it is, the more structure that it holds, and the larger that it is, the lar the harder that the structure is to maintain. So Marc Jacobs that took bags, I still am going to recommend. Next two bags are gonna be kind of like fun, kind of wow bags, and these are also two brands that I never really talk a lot about. First one is going to be the Kogaya Para Nano Rhinestone bag got taken storm by social media. Why I'm introducing kind of like shiny bags. Like usually shiny, you associate them more with holiday. Um, I find that people are just been wearing, you know, fun bags. I think the Prada Crystal Re-Edition definitely helped with the hype. I'm seeing so many other fun brands have more fun and embellished bags uh, with great details. It has like a sheen that makes a statement. And wearing them, even going for brunch. Target, I've seen girls wear their crystal bags to Target. Girl, I'm like, yes, Miss Thing, do your thing. The Ross Checkout. Yes, Miss Thing, do your thing. Uh, Saks Fifth Avenue, same thing. Yes, thing. I've been seeing everybody rock their crystal bags 
I'm here for it and I'm gonna recommend the Kogaya one because I think it's kind of like one of the OG pioneer ones I know Alexander Wayne has one and my friend has it I'm not gonna recommend that one because that one's a little too expensive I would consider that more of the designer range the Kogaya is still $4.98 it's still somewhat reasonable compared to a lot more of the other crystal bags and the reason why crystal bags are always gonna be a little bit more expensive say traditional bags is because there's more detail there's more embellishment on them and so they're a little bit more harder to make so anything with a little bit more mix and whistles to it is going to be a little bit more pricey so just keep that in mind if you're thinking oh five hundred dollars for a glittery bag that's a lot of money you have to keep in mind those items are a little bit more harder to produce. I've been into social media, on like Instagram and TikTok, you definitely have been seeing this Coke Gaia bag. Um, I still think it's a hot one. I think it's gonna be going strong. And this can always, even if you don't use it as a daytime bag, it's a great nighttime bag. And also once you're kind of done using it, maybe as an everyday bag, if you do choose to wear it as that, it'll be a perfect, lovely night bag to have. And you can always reference it. And it's so pretty and I really like it. I think it's really great. And I can definitely see myself adding this in my collection. And this one comes in a bunch of colors as well. The next one is going to be from Stod or Stowed, whatever you guys want to call it. You guys know I butcher every understand me as long as I'm and then I think it's looking porta, right? That's what matters. It's gonna be the Stod Tommy beaded shoulder bag. And this shoulder bag I love. I think it kind of gives it to that Y2K trend. I feel like out of all the bags, I find that this is the only this one is the only one that I feel like kind of gives it to that trend. I feel like everything else is very on Y2K. I'm not a big fan of uh, Y2K style, not really my style. You guys know I'm more of a cut kind of more type of gay but i will say i do like the tommy beaded bag it kind of has like a best of both worlds where it's not super much it's not super overkill it's not super done but it does have a little bit of those details of that y2k trend and for me i think beaded bags are always kind of cute they're always kind of fun if you don't want to go super crazy on embellishment bags like the kogai one i think maybe the stod one could be a great alternative for you to have in your and this one comes in around 350 dollars so quite as expensive as the kogaya one um but i have seen this bag sometimes go on sale like 20 percent. so if you do want to wait maybe you could find it on sale bag i like it and i've seen it in person it gives me very much austin vibe and if you live in austin and you want the austin fantasy maybe that one's up your alley this one is going to be from pull in and we have not talked about pull in in a while but i do want to mention pull in on this list and it is the numeral dick ix and i love love this bag i love the croissantness of it i love the carry as a shoulder bag crossbody but i love how there's different lengths and there's different ways you can wear this bag i think pull-in has been a, such a great bag i've been seeing pull-in being worn more worn within the last two years i think that the quality is exceptional you get that box or customer service is there's a reason why people love pull-in when once people buy one pull-in they keep going back for them they're very clean they're very minimal they have that contemporary kind of pre-contemporary look to them to be priced in a little bit more of what they are but they also don't wholesale you only buy them directly from their website they kind of keep a little bit more of like the profit margins on a lot of the items so they have more control over their product exclusivity of the item which in a sense i kind of appreciate that especially from a especially from a contemporary point of view because a lot of contemporary brands tend to wholesale a lot so i appreciate that pull in does it and i think the only place you can buy from pull in is either the pull in boutique in france or online the shipping is pretty fast on it so the numero di dix comes in a bunch of neutral colors so you are neutral in a white you want maybe a different shade of brown a different shade of gray a black one i think this is a really great one and i really want to add this bag in my collection i think it's so beautiful and i've seen so many of the beautiful european girls style this bag i think it is so cute i think it is so sh and i think it's a lot more different than a lot of your other um it's like a basic bag but it's not like basic basic it's not like basic than some of your bags that you see are in your traditional department stores it's basic in a very good way it's basic but it's still different and something that you won't see a lot of people have so pull in I love this bag. I know this bag got introduced last year, but I wanted to mention it. These are going to be from Coach, and these are the final bags in the collection. And I'm still going to mention the Coach pillow bag. Oh my god, as I grabbed it, the chain fell. But I'm still going to recommend the Coach pillow bag. I think that this variation of the pillow bag, even the smaller ones, they're still going strong in 2022. Um, especially the pillow bag has always reminded me more of a spring and summer bag. Um, you know, I think back and forth, I said it looks like a winter bag. I think now, like, as I kind of found my sound stuff, I like to wear my pillow more in the spring and the summer, and I find that I reach for it more. But it also came out in the springtime last year, and I bought it. So if it came out in the springtime, I would assume Coach would consider it more of a springtime bag. This season, I know they have it in a beautiful red color. kind of gave me that Valentine's Day, kind of like that Chinese New Year vibe. But they always come in in so many colors and so many variations. Um, this is a chain from the beat bag um so if you guys were wondering but the pillow bag is still going strong so if you are still considering you know this bag 
I would say go for it. This one and the Marc Jacobs tote bags, I know are bags that I mentioned in the past, but I know they're still bags that are still going strong. So if you are considering the Coach Pillow bag, I would say definitely go for it. I have had mine for about a year and I've worn it a significant amount of times and it's been holding up quite well. And I still love her the moment I bought her. And there's nothing like the cream one. I think the cream one is my favorite one out of all the pillow bags. So I have the little one right here and I love it. And then the last bag is going to be from coach and this is going to be the coach I was very hard for me to pick within the hero or the studio bag And I think I'm gonna be picking the studio bag just because I've been seeing coach push that one a little bit more. So this one got introduced within a few fashion shows ago and this one comes in around 450 to like the $700 range. Um, I just think it's kind of like a classic, you know, glove tan leather I think this is kind of like original coach when you think of coach heritage when you think of coach as a brand you think of something like the coach video bag you just think about it the beautiful C and the brush hardware the structureness the beautiful leather how the glove tan is gonna have nice characteristics over time I love the strap on it it just smells like leather I've seen this bag in person I'll insert um, footage or pictures I don't know what I have of this bag Oh, the Coach Studio is such a beautiful bag. And my name is Sergio, so it's Sergio Studio, Studio Sergio. Kind of makes sense for me to have it, don't you think? So, yeah, guys, these are going to be the hottest bags for spring and summer in the contemporary section. I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions on it. Do you feel like I missed out any? Should I have added more? Should I have added less? Things about it. Like I said, for me, when I make these curated lists, I just love for, you know, I just love to add a little bit of different styles, a little bit of different of everything. So kind of somebody can find something, you know, maybe if you want, if you're going to get your first bag or your more basics, or maybe if you want to add something different that's a little bit basic, or maybe something that's completely different out of your collection, I like to include a nice variety. So I would love to hear your feedback on this video. Um, stay tuned for some fun shopping vlogs, guys. Handbag trends. There's so many fun videos coming up. Posting videos every single, every single day at 2. So stay tuned for more videos. Check out my TikTok. I'll leave the links for everything linked down below. Sergio, relax. Take a chill pill. I just drank a tea and a coffee within the last hour. So kind of a little bit hyper. I'm kind of a little up on the caffeine. You know what I mean? And then this chair's from Ikea. So it kind of like bounces a little bit. So because I, I don't think I built it right. So hopefully I don't fall one of these days like, on, on the thing. But. But yeah, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Los quiero, los quiero mucho with all my heart. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys, and take care.